Hi, uh, let's see how to import CSV file into SQL Server database. Let's get start the search SSMS to start SQL Server Management Studio. In my case, I'm not using the uh, Windows authentication. I'm using the SQL Server. Might be you have the Windows authentication. I use my credentials to connect SQL Server under the database. Just click on it, right click, create new database. Sales record database successfully created no tables yet right click on database go to the task import flat file Click next. Choose your CSV file. Uh, just I want to tell you that I'm going to in, uh, import 5 million records. It's a huge number of records. Uh, CSV. Open it. Remember not to keep any uh, spaces on it. Uh, record that is records five million uh, just uh, I will show you that how the system is uh, running on uh, for five million records then what is the performance of the CPU and the RAM uh, just uh, click on the uh, task manager and uh, performance under the performance you can see that uh, CPU speed is now 14 13 percent and 14 percent likewise and uh, now let's import the data click next you can see that some records will appear here from the CSV file before you import and all are good and click next you can set the primary key if you want here but I don't want to do that just next it and the finish and see that the gradually the CPU speed will increase huh? finish now it is in progress so CPU increase now it is processing We'll see, might be it will take one one minute and uh, maybe 20 minutes, 20 seconds, sorry, 20 seconds, one minute and 20 seconds. We'll see. I will uh, uh, shrink this uh, video because of the time, uh, because of the time. In my advice is uh, use this one to import the 5 million records if you want for uh, for some uh, task uh, additional tasks if you want but keep remember that uh, keep this record for the evidence uh, to check these things otherwise your system is if your system is not that much of capable to import this type of data 5 million or maybe 10 million more more than this type of records but don't try it because your system gets stuck might be it will harm to your computer that's why I am giving this uh, the task showing this task manager event for you and the RAM capacity also
now it's finished just close this one click on tables you can refresh this you can see that the sales record appear here Record. Execute the query. For the query execution, also you require more CPU power. But RAM, it is not like that. There's more CPU power, you need that to execute 5 million records. Uh, still, query is executing. You can see here. And after executed, you can see that the record counter comes here. The, now it is rows, zero rows. After completion, it will gives you five million here. Now you can see that the five million records will appear here. The query executed successfully. And uh, thank you so much. If you have any queries, uh, just uh, uh, keep the message under the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day.